What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Worthing Coat, aka Coat the Motherfucking Goat, man. Alright, now, this video is gonna be called the NBA 2K16 Awards. Basically, it's an award ceremony, basically, guys. I said that shit wrong. Now, if y'all want to go ahead and watch this gameplay, I went ahead and uploaded a funny ass video. Because watch what these two niggas gonna do to me on the 21 court. Now, I know them. And I found out afterwards they invited me to a party and all that they was trying to troll the fuck out of me. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get into this award ceremony, man. Okay. So, I'm kind of disappointed because I saw No Limit Sean's and I already had this idea. Mine's is kind of similar to his, but it's a little different at the same time. Okay, so for NBA 2K16, best 2K player, this is best all around. I went ahead and put down Almighty Dunk. I mean, you got to put him down. I mean, he was the guard. He was scoring all the points um, for the best team in road to the finals. He won $50,000, man, you know? Like, his team got put on TV, everything. The dude, he was averaging, I'd probably say, about 20 points a game or some shit. Like, it was just crazy, my nigga. Um, then, of course, in the little, um, what was the game? Just Los Polos and them. So, let me go ahead and get to the next one. Best Roaster. Now, I know some people probably wanted Swante, you know, maybe Nadex. Nah, bro. I had to put Bruce in. This boy Bruce. Bruce drop him off, man. This dude got punch lines for days, y'all. This nigga is the only nigga I know. He always got a joke on the top of his head. Yeah, he do say some suspect, you know, some, some suspect gay shit. But nobody else is fucking with him when it comes to jokes off the top of your noggin, my nigga. That's facts. Okay. So let me keep going down the list. Okay, so funniest person. Now I chose Nadex over Cash, Nasty, and uh, Swante. And the reason why I chose Nadex is because Nadex, y'all, he does anything for a laugh, my nigga. He's the only person you know will get himself banned to make people laugh, bro. You gotta, um, I mean, that's what you call true dedication to trying to be funny, you know. <laughs> He funny as hell, don't get me wrong. But he, he a try-hard funny nigga. So, let me go ahead and keep going down the list. Okay, so I'm going to go with Rise of Star Wars. Or you could say Most Improved. Pretty Boy Fredo, man. That's hands down. This dude almost got more subscribers than Cash Nasty. He the best at entertainment, you know. I mean, let, let's just be honest, dog. He's on his way. To, he's Well, he's already at the top right now, y'all. But pretty much worldwide real soon. Everybody's gonna be like, damn, remember Fredo from 2K15 and how now he's just shitting on everybody, man. It's crazy. Um, now I'm gonna go to best expose of the year. Now this one was a tie, okay? I got Red City Boy beating Fredo because let's be honest, man. Red did expose Fredo the way he did it, y'all, you know? He came up there, played Fredo. He clamped him up, you know what I'm saying? They was guarding each other. And he made him fall, and he was killing. Like, come on, man, that's exposed in front of thousands of people, man. It was the best. It was the best matchup of the year, man. Just so much, you know, hype and how much attention it got, man. And then I got with the tie is a uh, Steezo exposing Dope Swag. Now, whether Steezo was lying or Dope Swag was lying, I'm not really getting into all that. But the way that nigga Steezo responded, y'all. Oh my god, that shit was legendary, my nigga. <laughs> like, let's be honest. Steezo, he a goat for that shit. Just, just the way this man talks is why it got so much attention. You know what I'm saying? He came with, you know what I'm saying, his facts or whatever you want to call it. And he backed himself up. So, now I'm going to go to Best Grinder. Now, I know some people probably want to say the Boot or maybe Dope Swag or somebody. But I went ahead and chose a whole team. Now, this whole team is going to be Tiffy World. Legend 5 from River City. I'm so Louisiana. Legend 4 from River City. And um, Nashiomi, Legend 4 from Ridges, River City. Now, the reason why I told these guys is because their whole squad, they all Legend 4 and up, my nigga. You feel me? And they all got sub buttons, bro. Nashiomi got a sub button. Sleep for the Rich got a sub button, which is um, I'm so Louisiana. And Tiffy World's getting his sub button right now, y'all. All of them grind, bro. I mean, if y'all don't respect that choice, I don't know what to say, my nigga. Let me go down the list. Best female gamer. Now, I wanted to choose Takayla, you know, because she beat Lada in the 1v1. But I had to go ahead and put in consideration, you know, subscribers and, you know, all that other shit. So, 
and I, I, I guess this is pretty legit because Pretty Love's Pink, she do cook, you know? She, she got her a nice little fan base and all that. So I'm going to take Pretty Love's Pink. I wanted to put Tequila first, though. And Ricky of the Year, y'all. Dope Swag 24. Now, I know I've seen No Limit Sean put itself or some shit like that. But I'm going to tell y'all why I put Dope Swag. I did my research on this. Dope Swag has only been doing YouTube for seven months, man. Now, he hit Legend 5 in February, I think, right? Or late January or something like that. So that means he blew up. He got his 80,000 subscribers right off the jump, my nigga. Now, No Limit Sean, he's been doing YouTube, I think, what, this whole year? Maybe even last year? I don't know. But, um, let me know what y'all think about this shit, man. <laughs> um, I probably could have did more work into this. But I feel like, you know, my, my list is pretty legit. And share, like, comment, subscribe, y'all. I'm out.